What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Hello once again everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Yep, had a little brain problem there for a minute. But anyway, welcome to another segment of What's in the Box. And today we're going to be looking at a continuation of last time's What's in the Box from the Garden of Moore for Games Workshop, the Vampire Counts and that kind of thing. We are going to be looking at the new Start Collecting Skeleton Horde box. What's in the box indeed? This is a great value box for those that are starting off Age of Sigmar because unlike the Garden of Moore box, this actually has the new paint chart on it which we don't have to convert. Um, and you actually get a pretty good list of models in this one. I'll show you this side while I read the other side. Hopefully the camera can zoom in. But you get one model of Arkin the Black. Now this model actually is quite an expensive model on the Games Workshop website. I'll let you look that up. I'm not gonna tell you the price. Um, you also get 10 skeleton warriors. And you get five black knights. I don't know. So there's the skeleton warriors, there's the black knights. And it also includes an exclusive to this box only war scroll battalion that you can use in your Age of Sigmar battles. You get 16 Citadel miniatures with this. And Archon the Black, you can actually build him as three other characters. And I'm going to let you look that one up. The skeleton warriors, I do believe you can build their armament different so they can either carry spears or or swords and then of course these guys the black knights which you can also make as the hex wraiths it's all in here if you do convert your models to a different group uh, like you don't build archon but you build one of the other characters um, the war scroll that comes in here the exclusive one is kind of invalid uh, but that shouldn't stop your fun at any rate because like I say, I mean, look at Archon the Black. You know, that is a good model. And his War Scroll is brutal. So these are beauty. So let's stop looking at the cover and see what's in the box. Mr. Spock. <laughs> All right, here we go. Start collecting the Skeleton Hordes. Let's see what's in the box, Mr. Spock. <laughs> anyway. It's my William Shatner impersonation, in case he didn't know. From the original Captain Star Trek TV show. Okay, so to start with, we have our instructions. So here's the Skeleton Warriors. Now, I have to be honest, I actually did look at this box earlier, so everything is not how it may appear when you open the box. But look at that. See? Swords. And there's the heads and the shields and these you get a whole bunch of so you can actually custom make your characters and it shows you there how they all assemble on the bases and there's like your champion your musician and your standard bearer and then you get a war scroll on the back for the skeleton warriors which is always nice nice new inclusion then here is the hex wraiths and the black knights the box shows you building them as black knights but it does still have the Hex Wraith option. And then it shows you how like the horses go together. These are written in multiple languages. You can learn some languages by reading the instructions. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how good that is, but there it is. There's, oh, the Hell Knight is like the, uh, the main knight. And there's your standard bearer and your musician and regular Black Knights off the back. And then here is the Death Lord's Mortark. Now these are all the different guys. So you get Archon the Black, Manfred von Karstein, and Neferata. These are the people you can build. 
if you looked it up, good for you. If not, well, there you go. And I mean, look at the detail in mean, the instructions. This whole thing is made up of little skull heads. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I don't know how much time I got here, but batteries are always a problem with my camera. But, you know, look at that. And there's all the instructions. Shows you there's Neferata there, right inside side saddle. And you get, again, their war scrolls. So it's great. Okay, let's look at the plastics. So I'll move these to the side. Pardon my arm. And I'll move the box over here so we can view it. Have a look at this first part tree. We have the detail that's all in Archon's giant horse. See the skulls in between the ribs there? That's pretty cool. And there's part of the cape from Archon the Black. There's the head of the beast. And here's parts of Archon. Just turn that over. There's his head. We're in that really cool, uh, what do they call it, carapace armor or something. So that's our first tree. And here's the second part of the tree. Whoops, bumping the camera again. Like in the last video, there's one of the other heads for the beast. This, I think, is... Oh, that's the one with for Neferata or one of those guys. Manfred, where it's got the eyes covered. And there's Neferata's head there. And the spine of the beast. The beast. There's the legs. Night legs. And some of the spirit host type guys that hang around the base of the horses. And now we're getting into our skeleton warrior sprue. I mean, look at the detail on these shields. And that's excellent stuff. You get ten of those. And then there's some extra shields here. And I mean, look at the, the skull heads and, and the ribs and everything. There's a lot to be glued together on these little guys, that's for sure. I'm looking at the back. See, there's a wood there. Some nice detail. A couple of spare arrows. So, I don't know if there's uh, quivers in here. Let's look on the next sprue. And these are the ones for the hex rates. See, there's uh, smaller horses, front and back. And some of the ghostly legs and body bits. And there's some of the knightly for the knights. And looking at the back side, a couple little skulls. I mean, all this detail, you, you got to look at from both sides. I mean, just wonderful stuff. Look at this guy. It's like Grim Reaper kind of thing. And here's our final little sprue. Again with the horses. Again with the horses. Anyway, <laughs> there it is there. Looking pretty nice. And from the back side, a couple of hands and things. And save the best for last, but we're not at the end yet. Here's all the different... Uh, these are the bases. So there's the ones for the Skeleton Warriors, the one for Archon, and the one for the horses with the Hex Wraiths and, and Knights. And now here is Archon's Skeletal Guard. This is that special War Scroll Battalion that you get. The organization Arcan, one unit of Black Knights and Skeleton Warriors, and then they can do the March of the Dead, and then you got it here in the other languages, French, German, Spanish, uh, and something else, apologize. And then on the back, these are the next steps, so if you want to extend out your skeletons, your skeleton horde, you can get the White King, you can add in the Grave Guard, more Black Knights, that's what they recommend. Or you can get any any number of the uh, Sigmar um, skeleton units and check out the Age of Sigmar app. Now that you know what is in one of the Star Collecting Skeleton Horde boxes, hopefully you will come down to Monster Hobbies and get one for yourself. These are great ways to start off your Warhammer army and uh, we play Age of Sigmar every Thursday night at 7 o'clock p.m. right here in our store. And uh, we want to try to do a, a new league coming up here. 
and that'll be like a couple months but we want to do a old style escalation league using the general's handbook and a great way to start off is using these start collecting boxes where we could pit a box against a box and then like that suggested you know each month or so we can add a little extra unit into the box go on a quest maybe find that unit in the quest all kinds of other fun stuff why don't you come on down and check out what we're going to do in person you can visit us at unit 42b 11th avenue in high river alberta canada or at our facebook page which is monster hobbies in high river alberta canada or you can visit us on our website www.monster dash hobbies.com you can also phone the store at 403-652-5019 if you're calling from outside of canada or back east um, please leave a message because we're getting a lot of people that are just calling and it ends up being like this is your captain speaking we have an offer for you of a you can have a trip on the titanic you know and, and or they just hang up so if you want to you know get in contact with me please leave a message because I kind of screen those types of calls. So I don't want to leave anybody out that actually wants to ask me a question about Age of Sigmar or slot cars or something that's in the store. So <laughs> anyway, uh, come on down, check us out. And oh, if you like this, if you like, we want to hear from you. So if you like what's in the box, please write in the comments down below. I like or can you please, instead of the skeleton horde, can you please open the uh, one with the race, wraith guards or the the green skins or you can get a 40k one in here or something else. We want to hear from you what you would like to see in the box. And of course, in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I want you to see in the box. Oh, there's my phone. So that means it's business time. So please subscribe and like us and we'll talk to you soon. I better get that phone.